The boxing icon and Hall of Famer Mike Tyson is back for an exhibition bout against the boxing icon and soon-to-be first ballot Hall of Famer Roy Jones Jr. And honestly, it's hard to weigh in on this one. On the one hand, it's Mike Tyson. In his prime, he was boxing. A heavyweight destroyer unlike anything the sport had ever seen. In the ring, he was a beast. Fast, aggressive, relentless. His hook to the body, uppercut to the face combo is the thing of nightmares. And he was out to kill, literally. Mike Tyson versus Razor Ruddock. Razor Ruddock dies, he said before a title fight. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. But why stop there? I just have this thing inside me that wants to eat and conquer. Maybe it's egotistical, but I have it in me. I don't want to be a tycoon. I just want to conquer people and their souls. And if his intentions still weren't clear enough, I try to catch them right on the tip of his nose because I try to punch the bone into the brain. Tyson was out for blood, for real. Every time he stepped into the ring, Iron Mike appeared to be a legitimate bloodthirsty maniac in the old gladiatorial mold of fighters. And his epic battles against anyone broke all the pay-per-view records. For better or worse, the world couldn't get enough of him and we simply haven't seen the fans as excited about a fighter since. In the heavyweight division, he was the youngest ever champ at 20, the first to unify the three major belts to claim the undisputed title, and he regained the WBC and WBA titles to become just the fifth two-time champ. He's an all-time heavyweight great. But Roy Jones Jr. is an all-time great regardless of weight. For some reason, everyone seems to have forgotten how good this guy was. He's way ahead of Tyson on any pound-for-pound -pound list. And for many, even ahead of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Don't believe me? Just ask longtime boxing commentator and analyst Max Kellerman. Floyd was in his prime when Roy was in his prime. For years and years and years, not a single person on Earth ever wondered, is Floyd as good as Roy? because he wasn't. Jones was the consensus fighter of the 1990s and Ring Magazine's pound for pound champ from April 1997 till May 2004. That's seven years and one month straight. In comparison, Floyd Mayweather's combined total at the top doesn't even crack six years. And there's no doubt how much better Mayweather was than just about everyone below him, but Roy put distance between him and Floyd, continued Kellerman. More distance than what Floyd puts between him and everyone else. Roy was the best I'd ever seen in person with my own eyes. They couldn't touch him. And he wasn't defensive like Mayweather either. Jones would keep his hands low and offer up his face just to drill opponents out of nowhere with leaping counterhooks they never saw coming. His freakish reflexes made Mayweather look slow. The Olympic silver medalist won world titles at middle, super middle, light heavy, and heavyweight. He was the first former middleweight champ to win a heavyweight title in 106 years. And he's the only man in history to start at junior middle and win a world title at heavyweight. Jones and Tyson are undeniably two of the best and most exciting fighters in modern history. Jones is taller. Tyson is much heavier and they've both got huge wins and knockout talents. But this is not a good fight for so many reasons, really. Firstly, their age. Tyson is 54. He hasn't fought professionally in 15 years. Jones is 51, and while he only retired in 2018, he hasn't fought for a world title in 11. Secondly, Tyson is a career heavyweight. He was never tall, but he made a living crushing giants. Jones fought just once at heavyweight, and he would have been crushed by Tyson, too. This wouldn't have been competitive in their prime, so why would we want to watch now? And thirdly, by the time they both retired, they were nothing like the supreme fighters they once were. Their power, reflexes, and speed were all but gone. 
Do we think they're going to be any better now? Or anything even remotely like what they were then? No. Tyson vs. Jones is happening this September, and lots of people are going to watch. But thank goodness it's just an exhibition match, because anything else would be pure disappointment. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.